Hello again. It is Toon Candy time for an FPS. Woohoo! My name is Wiss, and I'm playing Little Rice Stage End today. And he's gonna go hang out with his friend. <laughs> Hi, my name is Foster, and this is Teal Tiger getting a visit from Rye today. It's gonna be fun! Rye has it's, never it's... been to Teal's house before. <laughs> Not many people have. <laughs> Oh dear. Um, so, how are these two hooking up, Foster? I, I, I think Teal wanted to invite Rai from, from memory? Um, the thing, I think that the way this plays out was that, um, so Teal gave a very special present to Rai on his birthday, and what I'm Picturing is that Rai would have had questions to Till about this, and Till would have been like, "Well, I'll give. You, I'll. Why don't we hang out and we can talk about this?" And Rai would have been very, very excited about that. It's like, "Oh, hanging out with Till? Yes, please." <laughs> he likes hanging out with the people he knows. It's great, and he does have questions, like in particular, why Lin wasn't allowed to see it. <laughs> 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 oh dear oh dear um, so they've picked a time they've organised something and Teal has picked Rai up from the stagehands requiem he um, has yes cool and he's happy as anything he's got his new little coat and his new little pants and he's just going to trot down the street next to Teal little bounce in his step he's excited he doesn't know where we're going so, you had a few questions about the present that I gave you, didn't you? Uh, yeah. I mean, it was very, very nice. Um, but, uh, I mean, I haven't shown Mom because I got the IED. You didn't want her to see it? We can talk about this later, but let's say that if... We we both know that your moms like to find out mysteries, so it would be nice to send her on a bit of a mystery chase and not give her too many clues just to start with. Oh, oh, it's like a it's a case, but like a game. Yes, it is. <laughs> that sounds like fun. She'd like that. She likes cases that don't have like scary stuff in them. She likes those. Yeah, I'm sure she will like this one. So, I think that the most appropriate place to talk about, about this a bit more would be to have you come to somewhere that not even your mom knows about. Ooh. Oh, is it like, so, a, like a secret clubhouse or, 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 or something like that? It's very... One might see it that way. Let us head to the teleportation circles. Is it really far away? Yes, kind of. Far away and yet not too far. Oh. I mean, definitely. Definitely further than little Tiffy is, that's for sure. Oh. oh, oh, okay. Cool. Um, I haven't been on the circles much. That sounds like fun! And. What I will say is that as they head to the teleportation circle, right before they get transported to the different location, Till actually, let me just roll because I want to see if he's going to fumble or not. Because <laughs> Till is going to pull out a an outfit rolled into uh, just rolled into a big ball. And uh, oh, okay, Till, are you going to fumble or not? Uh. Hold on, uh, never mind. I can't type. Okay, he does not fumble, hooray! <laughs> and um, so he pulls out this this ball of um, off-white clothes, and I the image that I'm picturing right now is um, in the Dover Boys when Dak Backside steals the car and puts on the driver's outfit, he just like puts it above his head and it just rolls down on him and he <laughs> somehow is wearing the outfit. And that's yes. what's happening. Very and good. now 
so Rai will of course see this and he will see that like this outfit does not look like anything he's seen Pierre wearing. As a matter of fact, like this looks surprisingly un, un um, this looks surprisingly like common of an outfit, if a bit old fashioned, but it's like the outfit that yeah, a background character would be wearing, rather than the most distinct things he's been wearing. Hmm. He's gonna as, gonna give just give Teal just a, a look up and and down, and then just cock his head to one side. And right as they as he does, they get teleported to putting spam. <laughs> Yay, putting spam. For anyone who doesn't know, Potting Spam is a small town in the north part of the Giznap Kingdom. It's it's mostly populated by animal tunes. And Rai's, gonna, um, Rai's never been here before and he's just going to look around going, Ooh, cool! Yes, very cool indeed. This place is what, one, what I would call my hometown. And... I do appreciate the quiet compared to the bustling Toon Town. <laughs> yeah, it's it can be noisy, especially in our part of town. Yes, although I think that Lynn is to blame for at least some of the noise. <laughs> and Nettle. <laughs> and, um, and so you will, of course, notice that now the this outfit that Teal's wearing very much suits the vibe of Potting Spam and is on par. If it wasn't for his unusual color compared to the more natural colors of the residents, he would blend in mostly well. Mm -hmm. Rai's going to um, kind of, he's going to look at all of the different animal tunes around and then he's just going to adjust his coat and look a little self conscious. No, oh, no, no, don't mind this. It's really the people around don't are used to see people from the big town come in. It's just that for me this is more acceptable to not be noticed too easily. It does help you blend in, I guess. It very much does. Um, and... Uh, as they walk in, they will be heading to more of the outskirts of Potting Spam, really, than the city center to get to Teal's place, which happens to be a, a house with one story that's not what one might have expected, considering Teal's demeanor, this house is, again, fairly unremarkable compared to the other ones. It doesn't have any pizzazz, it doesn't stand out by some outlandish decoration. The all, the few noteworthy things though would be that unlike the others, this one has a stone wall surrounding it. It's not sitting right next to another house. And something that Roy will definitely pick up on is that the this house features a garden. Oh, he's gonna he's gonna gasp a little bit and it's so cute. Thank you, thank you. I I may not be a druid or have an inclination for the magic of nature, but I try. And you can tell that um actually yeah let let me have Rai roll perception for. The garden, but also for another thing, because I want to see if he rolls high enough for him to notice. Sure. What's his perception? Plus... There's a dirty okay. 20! <laughs> 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 so, Rai, having picked up from Lin on being observant of little details around, will notice that there is a letterbox. And on that letterbox, isn't written till tiger it's not even written tt it's a name that rai has never seen before mm -hmm. the name 
the first name is only the initial of the first name, so he can't guess from it. It's just a C. And the last name is Sig, which spells S-I-E-G-E. -E. Ryan's gonna look like he's gonna cast his eyes over the entire garden first and and then look at the at the letterbox and then pause and then look at teal and then look at the letterbox and then <laughs> scratch his chin a little bit with one of his little stick fingers and go e is this your house oh yes right right forget about that um it is very much my house it's just that Considering my business, I tend to go by many names. No. Oh, oh, so it's like a, 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 a pretend name, a code yes. name. Yes, that's it. That's code name. Code name, and this code name is only between you and I, because this one is would be in one way really the final prize for. Your mom's little secret chase. <laughs> well, if she so had she your really... address, she'd be able to find you too easy. Yes, exactly. That would be too easy for her. That wouldn't be fun. Nah. <laughs> and he, he's just going to look around the garden some more and look at the, the trees and the bushes and he's going to give you know a little, little approving nod and then look straight at the garden beds out the front. And uh, do you need me to roll, like, nature or anything? <laughs> For the state of I mean, the yeah, you can roll nature. <laughs> that's a 16. Yeah, that's a 16. So you can tell that, like, an attempt has been made. The, the This isn't the preacher's garden that you've seen. There is definitely a consideration for the colors of the plants. It's not just any random flower haphazardly grouped together. Like, there are some patches that are closer to, like, Reds and oranges with fla with uh, roses and tulips, and then there is a patch of blue, mm, kind of more blue hues with delphinium and lavender, and so on. But you can tell that even though there is some consideration, and uh, it's not someone who would, for instance, put a flower that's meant for the shade just in the straight up sun. <laughs> there are still some mistakes that have been made, like the ground on some of those flower beds looks to be to not fit quite all of the flowers, a bit too too coarse or not enough mm. and so on. So yeah. There is like it's it's not a, compl a com someone that doesn't know anything about flowers, but it defi it's definitely like someone who isn't a professional gardener by any stretch of the imagination. Mm. He's going to look at that and he's just kind of get a... And Teal can roll it inside if he likes, actually. Oh boy. Um, what's your insight? I think your insight is a total plus one. Yeah, that's it. Uh, the old school, what are they going to be today? There, there we go. <laughs> it's a seven. Oh, teal. Um, so, Rise, uh, you're not getting much from Rise's expression. He does doesn't do facial expressions because he's only got an eye, and that's kind of it. <laughs> yeah. um, but he is looking very closely at the different plants and garden beds and and the way that it's sort of been laid out. And he's just sort of leaning over slightly to peer at them a little closer with his hands on his hips. And then he just sort of straightens and looks straight at Teal and goes. Have you been rotating these bulbs? You know you're supposed to dig them up every year, right? Oh, am I? Um, <laughs> he he just he's he's very he's kind of taken aback because there is so much to take in for this little kid, and like he's one of the very first people that knows both of the of Till's name that's getting to his home, and his first concern is if bulbs are being rotated. <laughs> <laughs> and to be fair, Teal hasn't rotated the bulbs, so he's very embarrassed. He's kind of embarrassed by this. Um, um, I am supposed to rotate the bulb, aren't I? Huh? Well, they'll get crowded otherwise. I mean, you got plenty of room, well, though. Yeah, I, I have hopes for this place, but it's 
getting there slowly but surely, but yeah. I may not have the best knowledge in this, but say, now that you're here, you can actually give me a hand. Oh, oh, I'd love to. And, 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 hold on, I've, I've got my own tools and everything. For all this hammer space, that is not a fumble, and he's just going to reach in his coat. He's going to put out, pull out like this, this, this little box. It's got a little tiny trowel and a little little fork uh, and and all these different little hand garden tools in this this neat little box. And he just sort of pulls them out. And it's like I got all my own stuff. Ooh, look at you prepared for every, any situation. I love gardening. I look after our garden at home, and sometimes I get to help Asclepius in his garden. Have you seen his garden? It is so cool. <laughs> He's got so many neat plants there. And um, okay, I did mention um Yeah, roll me insights too. Mm-hmm. Yep, no problem. Fifteen. Oh yeah, this this kid sees right through this tiger. Um, yeah, you can see that uh, at the mention of ha Asclepius having a garden, he's like... You can tell that he's a bit surprised, but he's also like, Oh yeah, should have expected it. <laughs> um, yeah, no. Um, well, yeah. If you're... I, I would be more than happy to have you attend to this garden, and if you're so eager to do so. Sure. You probably even put in some new garden beds. You've got heaps of room here. I definitely could. <laughs> Rai's just gonna... He's going to uh, put his little box of tools down and his coat does not have sleeves, but he's going to do the rolling up the sleeves motion <laughs> on both arms. Yes. And then we're like, right. Okay. Great. <laughs> oh, bless. <laughs> Yeah, Teal's also going to, he, at this point, I think he had he will go to either the garden shed or, or the inside the house. I haven't decided the entire layout so precisely, but he will get his own tool that he, he's been using for this garden. And Ryan's just going to be, like, taking stock of all the different plants. He's like, okay, we've got to do this, and this, and this, and, and, and <laughs> so you can just watch him potter around the garden beds, just being very critical and going, okay, we have to do this, and this, and this, and this, and this, making a chore list for the two of them. Yes. <laughs> and he's actually going to stop in front of the, I think you said there was lavender there, and he's going, yes. to, going to stop and then look at the lavender and go, oh, Lavender goes in, in food sometimes. That's right, it actually does. I haven't really used it that way, but I use it more to have the dried the dried her, dried flowers in the house because it really helps. It really mm. puts on a nice smell, but yeah, I could definitely get those to mm -hmm. use in some cooking. I've, I've not done it yet, but um, you remember... Sally from yes. there. She likes biscuits with dried lavender and and oh. mom said you like ones with rose water in? That I do. That I do. She we haven't figured out knows. how to do that yet. <laughs> We're going to work <laughs> on it. It is no easy task. I do not blame her. But I appreciate the dick. No, this is a lot smaller than I was expecting. Well, <clears throat> someone, sometimes, uh, it's nice to a place to call home that's not too noisy for yourself, away from the troubles. Hmm. Yeah, I was sort of pictured you in a big fancy house. Hmm. <laughs> the question, do I get to have this kid roll inside every single sentence? Because, my god. <laughs> <laughs> right with the truth bombs. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I can. I'll roll him another one. <laughs> yeah, go on. That's not as good. That's yeah, okay. no, that's not as good. Like, some... Like, there... He reacts to the mention of the big mention, but you can't exactly tell what 
his reaction is, but there is like something going on in his head. Uh, well, he's gonna frown a little bit. Mm. Yeah, my, I must admit, I can guess why my demeanor would lead you to believe so, but really, sometimes it's just as nice to have a place that's just for you. I suppose. If it's just you here, you don't really need anything too big. <laughs> if it's just you, you have anything you have, you have to clean, right? <laughs> yes, that I do. That I do. But it's been... It is nice to have someone around, because I haven't had really the opportunity of showing this place to anyone yet, really. I do have the occasional neighbor coming in to ask for sugar or service. And I'm more than happy to help, but not really had the opportunity to bring someone of my own volition here. Hmm. Oh. Do you not have many friends? Well, I've so far... Well, I would say now it isn't true, but I used to be mostly by myself with what kind of work that I'm in again. It's not really the work where you get to collaborate with a lot of people at once. I suppose. <laughs> and stealing stuff sounds hard. I mean, I've well... done it a little, but... <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> let's not... Let us... Let's not let Lynn know about this. But... I mean, I can definitely see you being all spry and sneaky. <laughs> but it is definitely a difficult craft. And that is what, that is part of the reason why I'm here. After all, it's very... It, it wouldn't be recommended for me to live right next door to my next person that I get to visit. Yeah, I suppose not. You gotta kind of... Keep a distance from... Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> like, like, uh, we, Mom and I sold this case a little while ago. <laughs> it was so stupid. The guy, you, this guy's house was huge. He had two dining rooms. It was silly. Um, and he robbed himself to try and get his insurance insurance and he left it on the ground in the garage and we found it and we're like that was stupid it's like you gotta keep keep yourself away from your crime i guess if you want to not get caught which most people who do can try, try to aim for but yes that is a that would be a pretty silly case to work on i can see why that but uh, hey that makes for good stories and I'm still only learning how to be a detective, so, you know, silly cases are, are a good place to get my practice. <laughs> you already seem to be quite the detective little guy. And he's just sort of blushing and rubs the back of his head a bit. <laughs> just uh. like, aww. <laughs> but say, how are you liking the new life that because from what I knew, from what I've learned during your birthday, we your new life at least now seems to be quite different, but in, for the better. It's with mom, really different, but I love it. I've got a mom. I've never had a mom before, and and then I've got Nettle, and I've got lots of friends and. Everything is so nice right now. It's great. I wouldn't change anything. So I wouldn't have it. I would have it changed for you. It really seems like the ideal situation, really. I'm glad I don't have to hide anymore. It's still a bit weird not wearing a hood, though. And he kind of just sort of rubs the top of his head with his hand. Well, hey, that make his, that's make it, that makes it easier for for us at least. And he, at this mention, he will. I would. I was like, he does what would be ruffling his hair, except that like, right, doesn't have any hair. <laughs> <laughs> He's just gonna pat his head. 
Oh, do a quick perception check for me. God, perception. Huh? Um, at least this one he feels a bit better because. Um, let me check. It's plus four. Perception, yeah, plus four. 16 great um so you you reach your, your hand out and you pat rye on the head and you can distinctly feel him lean into your hand as you do that and uh you can also see just this little it, it's probably only about four inches long but this little red piece of grolex a little exclamation mark just sort of goes pink into um life in the air next to his head and then disappears again <laughs> oh my god he's a bit uh yeah, Teal is a bit taken aback because it's the kind of reaction where it's like, oh, I don't know how to handle comfort and social contact this close. I'm not used to this. <laughs> <laughs> but he's not rejecting it. He's just like, oh, okay, now this is this is happening, I guess. <laughs> oh, dear. And um, Rai's going to just sort of stand there for a second after Teal finishes patting his head. And then... Um, looks back down at the at the flower beds and he'll, he'll just start digging up plants that shouldn't be in direct sun and so with the intent of moving them and things like that so he'll just potter around and then he's gonna look over at teal and then just say so the painting was really pretty was it stolen well, is that why mom no. couldn't see it <laughs> I really do not understand why you would make such an assumption. <laughs> but <laughs> <laughs> But no for for a change this one I've known for quite a while really. Or maybe when I was your age. Maybe younger. Can't quite remember that time. Uh, it was eyes given gone to... really round. <laughs> and it was given to me by someone that I cared a lot about. Mm. Well, it's a shame it I can't very put it up. It'd be nice to put up on my wall. Well, maybe when your mom finally solves this case, you might be able to. Oh, okay. But I hold this one and the others from that same person very close to me. They are very personal, so that's why I would rather not have your mom find out about you and them. At least not just yet. Oh, thank you for giving me something like that. That sounds really special. Well, you're... <clears throat> you're quite a special guy as well. Oh, he's blushing again. He's sort of stopped <laughs> what he's doing and he's just going... Ah! Oh! <laughs> like, he's, he's had people say things like that. Like, he's had Lynn and Network say stuff like that before and some of the other stagehands is like, from other people he's still not used to it. And he's just sort of stopped what he's doing and just sort of fiddling with his fingers all bashful like. <laughs> oh. But yes, so this is a reminder of the good parts of my previous life. And again, mostly to remember by someone that was very formative for me. Like a parent or something? Someone in your family? Roll me insight again. Because <laughs> you just said the trick of word. <laughs> oh, that's a 19! <laughs> oh boy, okay, we're doing this. Um, <laughs> so yeah, at the mention of family, you see him wince a bit. Like, you can tell that, like, oh no. Like, he, it's the kind of, like, you can tell that if, without saying it, he's like, oh no, not my family. <laughs> oh, um, but yeah, he would, he would be, well, not quite family, really. Not, we weren't related, but then again, I think that I don't need to prove that you don't really need to be related to someone by blood to appreciate them. Sometimes it's actually, it actually works for the best. No, 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 this, <laughs> this lovely man was a gardener, wouldn't you believe it, that also happened to have a knack for watercolor. 
Really talented guy. Hmm. And Ryan's just sort of looking at Teal. Like, it's not, like, a suspicious expression, but it is a, a, a very close considering kind of look, as if he's trying to get more out of what Teal has just said to him than, than what that 19 got him. And he's just tilts his head to the side a little bit. Teal, are you hiding from someone too? Like I was? <laughs> um... Oh, did you see a roll minted, but no. Um, <laughs> <laughs> well, I am hiding from a lot of people, really. But there are a select few that would be a stretch to say that I'm hiding from them because they think that I fear them, which isn't exactly how I feel about them. But. I prefer to stay out of their sight, for a time being, until I'm ready. Mm. No, that's fair enough. And he's he's not going to press. Like, you can kind of tell that he wants to, but he's just like, mm. uh, he doesn't seem happy yeah. about that line of questioning. I'm just going <laughs> to shove my foot right in my mouth right now. Okay. <laughs> he, he, he will, at this point, like, he kind of looks away from my, like, kind of in the distance. Um, he'll, he will continue because, like, this is the kind of sequence where he, like, you can tell that, like, the, there are, like, several thoughts going through his head and, like, he, at this point, just like going even though he probably shouldn't say all of this just yet but he is in this mind space he mm. it would be really really unfortunate if you were to you have you have someone that you're aiming for and they see you come first really it's best sometimes when there are some people that you want to get to it's best to not let yourself know, and really, if I were to visit someone, it would be foolish of me to let myself known. Hmm. I suppose so. And he's just going to stop and think, and he's like, um, Oh, um, I wanted to say thank you as well, Teal, for helping get me home. Well, that was the least I could do. Not really. Not... The least you could have done was not go, but you you went. You helped. I think that we well passed that. Now, we... Between the maze, the dinner, really... It's... One might say that I almost got a liking for you. And as he says that he leans in and does a little boop on, again, where Rai's nose would be if he had <laughs> one. <laughs> That's just going to make him sort of giggle. <laughs> but yes, not only was your birthday party really making your mom very upset, which I wouldn't like to see her be more than she already is. She has already so much to go through, but... More importantly, even just for that, but you, you weren't, you were taken away from your living home, and that just was not going to happen. Thanks. I'm all about taking things away from their home, but only if they can feel. Hmm. And, um, I'll just can't believe you found my egg. I mean, you, you, all of you guys found my egg. I didn't even know it was, well, he was supposed to keep it. I didn't think he actually would. Yeah, sometimes it's a bit difficult to get a read on people, family especially, but hey, it's not like I have a business and retrieving items. <laughs> That's true. Mom seems really happy to have it. 
I'm glad to be of assistance. Hey, why does mom call you a lava dork? Oh, that. Well, of course you would. <laughs> well, you see, I was busy. Huh? I happen to be part of a sports ball team, the Dramaturge, and it just so happened that me, the end of this game, some, well, some foolish person might have pulled a flag that may or may not have turned the entire field into lava. Oh. Uh. I mean, <laughs> I can tell you for a fact that at least the the... The water was warm because I fell into it and I'm still fine and as he says so he just like does like a stance like look at me I'm fine. Mm. <laughs> but I may or may not have pushed someone on the opposing team in the lava to get rid of them. Oh jeez. I don't get hey. splorts. <laughs> well, would be lying to say that I get it either but... Hey, it's in the rules, and it's worked. So, we won. That's all that matters. Oh, Although, okay. to be fair, Young Tiffy did put up a really good fight. <laughs> Wait, what? I missed that game. <laughs> huh? Oh. Oh, yeah, it just so happened that um, Tiffy was there. And I don't really know if it was planned by anyone, really, because she just wasn't... We, the both team were facing each other, and then at some point she was just there. <laughs> that sounds like Tiffy. <laughs> that it does. <laughs> and as he says, so he will have like kind of a movement in the back of his head, like, okay, is she there or not? <laughs> <laughs> it's double check. It's like, am I being stalked <laughs> by Tiffy today? <laughs> <laughs> Hmm. Jeez. Well, that, that that does explain it. And then you were okay by being pushed into lava? Mm, yes, probably this uh, I'm guessing I was magic. Really, Sprouts Ball is quite the chaotic thought, if I may say so. Mm. My, um, my, my... Grunkle, our old tort, really likes sports, and, and, and he ar argues with uh, Uncle Ogan about sports. Sports all the time. I don't know which teams they like. I should ask. Hmm. It if they, if the they like your if they like your team, maybe I could get you to sign something for them. Ooh. Signing autograph, huh? That would be a first. But it is quite the entertaining sport, I would say, so I can't blame them for liking it. But really, we got the lava, we got a tent, we also got someone turning into a plant, and I got struck by lightning. Oof. That sounds like it would hurt. Uh, uh, I, it did. I definitely had my whiskers frizzled from this, but... <laughs> Hey, is it working now? <laughs> well, I'm glad it wasn't a permanent or anything. That sounds really bad. Yeah, I think that that thing, this blob, is preventing it from being permanent, but really, it is an odd sport. But hey, got gold. I got gold from it, so I'm not complaining. That's good. That's really good. He's going to put his, his tools down. And he's actually going to reach into his uh, his jacket to uh, pull out of one of the internal pockets rather than from his hammer space. He pulls out the um, his, his little stick wand, which he has gotten back. <laughs> um, and he's just going to sort of swish it around a little bit. And do you want to roll an arcana? Oh, yes. He Hold on, because actually two might be somewhat competent in arcana. Yeah, plus three. Huh? That's what you get for being... Having intelligence. Um, then again. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> I jinxed it. <laughs> That's the whole six for the audience. Oh boy. Perfect. <laughs> um, Chill, I swear. If you didn't know that he was a spellcaster and that he used this stick to cast magic, you might 
just think he's just waving a stick around. But you can tell he's like, oh, okay, he's going to cast something. Um, and um, he he just sort of he's just sort of sort of swishing it around backwards and forwards, and then he just sort of points it straight up, and and then right over each of the garden beds, it just starts to rain ever so gently. No clouds or anything, just just water coming out of nowhere. Well, that that is quite the useful trick, I would say. Mm-hmm. My mines usually don't have that much permanence on the world, but I can definitely see this being helpful for someone like you. I water a garden make... like at home like this. It's a lot easier than using a, a watering can when you've got lots of flowers or, or plants to water. Teal gently shoving the watering can behind him. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Rarity is not going to pay any attention to that. He's just going to keep sort of trotting around. It's like, because I'm not very strong, so. Well, I would beg to differ. What happened at the, at the end of your birthday party, my, uh, might we say, kind of goes against that statement. I've got magic. That doesn't mean that I'm strong. And he kind of does the, you know, the strongman pose. And he's just sort of looks at the little stick parts of his upper arms he's like i've got i don't have muscles well i mean not really i'm not going to blame you for it i'm not really much of an athlete either but that doesn't mean that you that's the only way to be strong no i suppose i suppose not can be strong-willed, you can have a strong sense of morals. There are sometimes a lot more to a person's strength than really just how much muscles they have. Mm. Sometimes the strength is making the right choice at the right time, even if it doesn't suit you. Have you ever had to make a choice like that? A uh, long time ago I did. It's a very long story, but let's just say that I've seen people make wrong choices just because it served them better than making the right ones. Hmm. And I've also seen people do the right thing even if it, deserved, if it was of a disservice to them. Hmm. Yeah, I think I've seen people make those choices, too. Well, and, yeah, at that mention, like, again, Teal's, like, casual to me, you kind of, like, goes down because he's like, oh, heck, that child has to look into this, this who, uh, <laughs> well, someone of your age shouldn't have to really be having seen those choices. Let's hope that you don't have to either make or see more of those future. Because I do not wish it on many people, especially not the ones that I've met at this maze. Yeah, that... Mm, it's not fun. It's not, but then again, sometimes it's necessary on... Hey, you never know where it leads you. And as he says, so he has like a look to Rai. <laughs> oh dear, Rai's just gonna think <clears throat> think about it for a second, and then and then smile, and then sort of he's just gonna swirl his stick around at the at the rain, and it's just gonna stop. Don't want to overwater them. They're all so different. Um, I think we should put that one. Th there and have you got any more of these these stones for your borders? Yes, I can. Yes, I do actually. I have some over there in the shed, and I'll just scoot over to the shed to get a bucket of stones. Because again, it's spotting spam, so like having stones in your shed wouldn't mm -hmm. be that out of place. Yeah. So um. Have you lived out here for a very long time? Oh god, yeah. How long has it been? It's been years by now. 
Yes, I've been here for really quite some times now. Um, I would say probably about what? Six years? Yeah, six years. Raz just gonna sort of squint at at Teal and then like, how old are you? <laughs> well, that is quite the question, really. But I'm I'm twenty four. Oh, <laughs> you're not that much older than Mum. Apparently not. Twice as old as Nettle. <laughs> She's only only twelve. Well, that would explain a few things. She's learning. She's good. She is good. She was so Even happy to give everybody wants. cuddles at 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 the at the party because she was using her ambulata, so she got to hug everyone, and that made her so happy. Oh well, that's all that matters then. Having the feel. <laughs> Well, you know, house, being happy. <laughs> she even helped me once, believe it or not. I believe it. What happened? I didn't. I didn't know that. Well, I went to network because I wanted to surprise your mom. Really, I wanted to make her a surprise, and it just so happens that at that time I had no idea of network's true nature. So <laughs> it does explain how I got inside so easily compared to other places. Oh yeah, she would have given you a business card at the maze. She has. Hmm. Did Nettle pick you up when you came in? No, I think that Nettle knew what I was up, up for, so she hmm. didn't. But then again, that's that was helping already, because I didn't exactly want to scene. <laughs> you know, it's best to do a surprise party to someone if you're not seen. Hmm. She likes to think she's sneaky, but she's not that sneaky. <laughs> I mean, she's a house. I suppose. She's, she's fun. I, I had Sally, but we didn't get to play anywhere near as much as I get to play with Nettle. Yeah, I can see why. Do you not do you not get but, lonely out here by yourself? Well, I'm be I can find ways to keep myself busy when I'm not working and he'll just gesture at the garden. And even though I'm not living with anyone, I get to attend to some events around town every now and then and it's just nice to even though I may not know the residents of this lovely place as closely as either you or Lynn or Tiffy uh, it does mean I can't get to enjoy some communal event like a fair Ooh, do they do all sorts of fun things here? I mean, it's it's kind of small but it looks I mean, I know they had, they had an archery. Ooh. They had an archery tournament once, I remember. Didn't went there, but heard about this. Oh, I've never done archery before. Um, I didn't get to do archery, but I did get a few things like fencing or gymnastics back when I was younger. Got to do a lot of those things, God. Hmm. But hey, at least got me to be uh, dexterous, and that's helpful. Yeah, I suppose it is. Hmm. But I would be lying to say that it's not. I would be lying if I didn't say that it's nice to have someone at home at least. Because for all the events that may happen in public spam, it's nice to have someone at home that I can. Get to hang out with, especially someone that I care for. Rai's just gonna give Teal this big. You think it's it's supposed to be a grin, like he, the bottom of his eye curls up, uh, <laughs> and 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 he just smiles at Teal really big, and then goes, 
Well, I'm happy to come and, and hang out whenever you want some company. Well, we can maybe do those. We can get afternoon cakes or something every now and then. Just, you know, don't let Mama know because, again, she has to play the game by the rules, really. <laughs> Does she even know it's a game? Mm, not yet, but then again, that's the funniest kind of games when the other doesn't know. <laughs> that's me. <laughs> She's very inquisitive. She would it would be too easy if, if she knew that. I mean, I I get that it's part of the job, but really, if she knew it was part of the game, it would kind of ruin the surprise because she would then think that I want her to find it. <laughs> well, if you're leaving clues, I suppose you kind of do. I know that she does. I already know that she's very curious about me, so I know she'll get there eventually. Well, she likes you a lot. Um, yeah, at that mention, she's also going to be like, oh, uh, oh well, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Because, like, yeah, he likes them, but he's not expecting to be liked back. <laughs> we all do. Long... Well, now, well, now, well. <laughs> um, well, that's not something that I'm used to hear, but I am glad to hear it, regardless. <laughs> nah, she's always looking out for you. You're on the wall. Did you see the wall when you came to visit? I think I remember seeing it, yeah. Yeah, you're there, and Tiffy's there, and Jackson and Sclepius are there, and I'm there, and all the people Mom really cares about are on that wall. Yeah, that is true, I guess. Then again, she does have very good choices because those are all fine people. <laughs> I approve of her decision. She's a very good judge of character, usually. Nettle's even better at it. Yeah, you would think somehow, you know, that house is really perceptive, it seems. Mm hmm. And Rai's gonna. Pause and then look really thoughtful and then go a little aha uh -huh, kind of pose and then he's gonna go into his hammer space and he's not gonna fumble it. Hooray! He's just gonna um, reach in and he's gonna pull out um, a little uh, a drink bottle that uh, has been filled with a sort of semi black kind of liquid and he'll put that down on the grass and then be pulling out like a, a small lunch box and then a little little blanket. That he puts down on the grass, and then he puts the drink and the and the lunchbox on the on the blanket, and then goes, "There you go, afternoon tea cakes." And what would this drink be? Oh, it's a it's a cordial. I made it. It's um black pepper and cinnamon and star anise. Ooh, wouldn't you be the fancy lad? <laughs> it's close to my favorite drink. From the only thing that I really want to keep having from the old me. Mm -hmm. This is even better because I made it. You. I can attest to how much better things are when you make the, when you make them them when you, that when you make them yourself again, and you'll just have a, a look at the garden. Because again, like this, this garden, like. Uh, we've mentioned flower beds and everything, but like really the composition is closer to like the English way of making gardens than like the French way. It's not like very, it's not like rigid with like precise hedges and everything. It's more about like the composition of the overall garden and the colors. Mm -hmm. And I'm actually going to um, roll right a perception very quickly. Do, 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 do. What is it? Nice. That is a twenty-three. Um, he, he's gonna kind of look around the garden as as Teal does, and his eye is going to land on one thing in particular, which was visible yeah. in the title card. 
Yes. <laughs> and he's just sort of going to stop and you you can don't even have to roll insight on him because you can tell <laughs> from the way that he's got little tiny grawlic sparkles that have just sort of started appearing around his head as he has noticed the swing in one of the trees beside your house. Ah, I see you've picked up on that little thing that I have over there in the back. Can I can I can I go on the swing? Can I go on the swing? Can you go on the swing now? That is a question. Maybe we would need some time to think about and debate the pros. Kale. Oh, mom would be. <laughs> yes, you can. Of course, you can. <laughs> He's just gonna run over, and I'm gonna roll him in acrobatics because that's funny. <laughs> Please don't plant your. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> that's a nineteen. <laughs> um, <laughs> he 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 gets up onto the swing and he's just sort of gonna he's wiggling his feet way too fast to actually start swinging but he's he's happy he's just sitting there holding onto the swing ropes and just going swing 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 <laughs> he's excited he doesn't know what he's doing obviously but he's just like <laughs> would you maybe need some assistance to get you started uh, he- i appreciate your excitement but you're not really it's not really getting you anywhere at the moment. He sort of stops and just sort of looks from side to side. Like, How do you make it work? Well, first you have to you have to not swing your feet haphazardly. You have to do them in a the rhythm. Oh. You uh. extend them to go forward and then you reel them back to go backward and so on and so forth. I really want to roll him something for swinging on the swing just because it's <laughs> funny. Um, God, where's the stat? Where's the swing roll? We're on the coast. <laughs> oh dear! You know, I'm just gonna roll him another acrobatics. Yeah. Don't. That's still a fifteen. That's pretty good. So I think yeah. with that instruction, he does start to swing backwards and forwards. He's kind of gets the idea and go. Ha! It's working! It's working! It is. Look at you. And he just keeps getting higher and higher, and he's just got this little pleased giggle that just hasn't stopped yet. Yeah, at this point, like, Teal's just, like, looking at him with a smirk on his face, like, oh, yes, having fun. It's nice to have someone being all giggly and having, like, some, again, some, like, kid laughter in this place. (laughs) Oh, boy. He's having such a good time. <laughs> Bless this child. Oh, dear. Run. I'm going to roll him one more acrobatics just to see if. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> there it is. There it is. Um, I'm going to say that he, he manages to, to swing pretty high. He's having a fantastic time. And then he goes, way too high and he oh, falls no. off and he just he, he, like he's on the back swing and then has just fallen forward and just go poof on the grass <laughs> on his belly Gil <laughs> just rushes are you okay are you okay I'm, I'm alright and <laughs> I'm gonna do him a deck save now <laughs> see if he gets beat in the back of the head <laughs> <laughs> No. <laughs> <laughs> this teal wants to do something. <laughs> Rai is getting beaten in the back of the head by the swing. Yeah, no, he's going to cast Mage Hand to stop the swing <laughs> while attending to Rai. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, boy. Oh, God. Right. Yeah, he's going to... Mm. He's going to help Rai on his feet and bring him back to the... To the picnic place because, like, okay, enough swing for today. <laughs> and Rice just got this very like he's just dirty on the front of his coat, like with grass stains and stuff. Um, but he's he's still sort of giggling. <laughs> oh, that was fun. Well, maybe next time don't temper your enthusiasm because I wouldn't want to get you back to your mom with a bonk on the hair. God, she would kill me for this. <laughs> Just a bonk would be okay. I've got healing I spells, so. 
bet you do. You are quite the adept magic user. Well, you can do magic too. And he sort of gestures at that mage hand. Well, I guess I can, but really it's not. It is more something that I've learned through lessons more than an inner aptitude of mine. You want to roll an inside on that? <laughs> sure, why not? He has a grand plus one, which is probably the lowest of everyone in the party. <laughs> Just like, my god, those rogues. Um, 14's pretty good. Um, so, like, you you know some of what Rai lived through um, and mm-hmm. in his old life. And then when... when <laughs> When Teal says that the lessons that he didn't have the aptitude for, you can just sort of see a shudder go up, rise back, and then he just sort of leans into Teal a little bit, and then really slowly his arms come around Teal's middle, and he's getting this really, I'm sorry, kind of hug. No, 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 it's fine, it's fine, don't worry about this. And he's just like, at this point he's like, oh god, I... I've said in the child, uh, <laughs> like the thing where like you're being hugged from below and like the arms are in the air, like oh god. <laughs> no, no, it's it's fine, really, really, it's fine. It, I wasn't. It's just how people are different, and I just happens to be better at jumping around and being discreet. Rai has not let go, but he has turned his head to look up at Teal's face and he's just sort of squints a little bit. You sure? Yes, I'm sure. I I got taught magic through lessons that I had to attend to, which were really boring, if I may say so. But, hey, it's proving to be useful. At least I know a few tricks now. You're going to get that, that squint stare for another second or two and then he's going to give you just the smallest little squeeze. Actually, just for, sh- <laughs> just for shits and giggles. I like rolling dice. Go ahead. I'm not stopping you. Hey, that's a 15. That is a very Ooh. good strength roll for Rai. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you, you do is this. very much surprised. Mm. Yeah, he's very much surprised by the strength of this that this child is proving to have, especially considering that he mentioned Earlier, how uh, like, oh no, I'm not strong, I have noodle arms. <laughs> and he's like, oh. <laughs> Yeah, it's just this little squeeze and then he'll let go and then and then just sort of plop down on the little picnic blanket and, and open up his lunchbox. And it's got a couple little sandwiches and a little a sl- slices of cake and stuff. Um, and some, some macarons and things like that. So it was obviously yeah. pr- um, leftovers from the party to a degree, but also like mm-hmm. Rai had packed it with the intent to share in the first place. Oh, and yeah, Till is also casting prestidigitation presti- to clean Rai's code because he doesn't want either to have Lin know that like <laughs> Rai stumbled on his face in a swing <laughs> and like his very pretty stagehand coat is all dirty and full of grass stains. <laughs> you can't have that. Rai loves gardening, so, like, it wouldn't be completely out of place. True, oh, boy. So Rai's going to... Still s- fancy. <laughs> he is. <laughs> so Rai's going to have opened his little lunchbox and flipped the lid over so that it can be, like, a plate and, you know, portion out half and then look up at Teal and then just pat the, the blanket next to him and go, have some cake. Ooh, I'm always done for cake. <laughs> And he will just sit on the blanket next to Rai. Cute. That's yes. so lovely. <laughs> I oh. love this child. Oh, dear. Is there anything else they want to talk about before we uh, no, I think, fade out? I think we've, yeah, no, I think we at this point, a lot of things have been covered already. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> oh, so I think they just sort of... In, in, enjoy some cake and some cordial that Rai made and maybe do a little bit more moving the plants around and Rai is going to have one more go at that swing which I am going to roll him for because it's funny oh God. 
Yeah. Bye, please. He's 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 too tired <laughs> tired from like all the gardening and then also too excited to have one more go and Teal just ends up having to just sort of pick him up off of the because he can't even get on with a three. He can't even get on to the swing. You just <laughs> have to pick him up and be like, I think it's time to go home. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh dear. Oh, and then I suppose um is Teal gonna take Rye back through the the teleportation yes, he circle. Will. <laughs> and drop and him off bef- back again, the yeah, he will drop the potting spam costume before getting back to Lynn, obviously. He will just like do the thing as if it was those um those props that you can just like rip out. Like he just rips it out and put it back in the other space. <laughs> the way that Team Rocket changes clothes, I just sort of grab yes. the bottom corner and yes. pull. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Dear, um, I think before Teal leaves Rye at uh, the Stagehands Requiem, he is going to get another another hug from from Rye, and Rye's going to sort of conspiratorially whisper, "I'll make sure not to tell Mum anything. Promise." That's, that's the spirit. But you'll have to let me know when she solves it, because then I we can send the... you letters. Ooh. Well, I think that. We will all know when she does solve it. Mm-hmm. Okay. She is very excited about this. And um, yeah, his <laughs> rival just sort of make make sure he's get sufficiently hugged Teal before letting him go, and and then just sit on the step until uh, Teal has completely walked away before going inside. Yay! <laughs> That's where we leave it off. <laughs> That was so cute. <laughs> that was so soft. Oh, <laughs> oh my goodness. Who would have thought that the softness of the party would come from those two? <laughs> it's like, we look at their lore and we go, hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? Oh, boy. Oh, well, thank you very much, Foster. That was great. We got some well, teal thank lore. You. That was great. It was fun. <laughs> Oh dear, oh dear. All right, I'm going to go ahead and stop my recording. Where's OBS? There it is. Oh dear. All right. Uh, Good night.